Hi! Ako si Kuya Bon at ako'y nasasabik at nagagalak dahil meron akong may lalahat sa inyo sa video na ito. How about I start today sharing with you a trivia? Have you ever tried playing the sport badminton? Nakalaro ka na ba nito? Have you ever thought about the science behind playing the sport? This sport relates to our interesting topic for today, tungkol sa projectile motion. Who was responsible for the discovery of projectile motion? Galileo was a natural philosopher, astronomer, and mathematician in 1609. Galileo saw an average velocity proportional to instant velocity. Then later on, Newton expanded the work of Galileo to better define motion in two dimension projectile motion. So, ano ba talaga ang projectile motion? Projectile motion is a type of motion where it goes into a parabolic path. The path that it follows is called its trajectory. But in Newton, there's also a similar scenario as a hit to shuttlecock close to my opponent's court in a parabolic manner. Hey, <laughs> Assuming I hit the ball at 45 degrees and a velocity of 90 meters per second at a distance of 4.0 meters, finding the height of trajectory, so I think it is not going to be Thus, using this formula. But, neglecting air resistance, we have the height formula which is h equals v now sine theta t minus one half g squared, where my time is equal to r, which is the range over v now cosine theta. We will arrive now in this formula. So we have now this formula: h equals v now sine theta multiplied to r over v now cosine theta minus one half g multiplied to r over v now cosine theta squared where h falls to 90 meter per second sine 45 degrees multiplied to 4.80 meters all over 90 meter per second cosine 45 degrees minus 1 half 9.8 meter per second squared as for the gravity multiplied to 4.80 meters all over 90 meter per second cosine 45 degrees squared so we have the answer of 3.980 Thus, thus as the height of trajectory, see how projectile motion works at the sports. If you don't like to be smashed by your opponent, don't hit the ball at the higher angle because the ball will have longer time of flight and the atta attacker will have time to attack. If you want to push the ball at the far end part of the opponent's sport, hit the ball at 45 degrees. Sa sandaling matutunan mo ang konsepto ng galaw ng projectile, maaaring mo matutunan kung paano nagagawa isang bagay at kung bakit ito nagagawa.